Sim. Hello, hello. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Welcome. Thank you. Uh -huh. You left me the other day. I'm uh, sorry. Sorry, I, I, I can't. Uh, I couldn't. I couldn't connect to the class. Uh, well, uh, my mom get, got, got, got. got a little sick. Yeah. So, yeah, um, I couldn't. I just couldn't. I'm so sorry, really. Yeah, no problem, no problem. I understand the situations, I mean, sometimes are unavoidable. Yeah, I tried to connect from my the cell phone, but I forgot because uh, I have registered this number, but this number is from uh, is from the cell phone of my work. Okay. So I forgot. I can even text you until the next day that I wrote you at the morning. Uh -huh. I wrote you at the morning. Oh, don't tell me about cell phones. I gotta change mine. That's not something I like to do. Yeah, so, but. Um, but how are you? Tell me, how was your weekend? Um, well, my weekend was very, very, very slow and, I don't know, tranquilo, tranquil. Calm, no, calm. On the weekend, uh, because well, my mom. Uh, you were taking care of her. Yeah. So uh, I preferred to stay at, at home, and well, maybe you heard about the the news of the violence. Yeah. Yeah, that was pretty, pretty intense. Yeah. So my mom was. No, no, just stay home, please. Your your sister, your brother, too, please. And we did that. Just to stay at home, take care of her. And we saw a, a movie yesterday at night. We watch. We watch, we watch. a movie. We watch. Yeah, when it comes to movies, you don't see. You watch. Okay. 
we watched a movie yesterday. Um, actually, that's all. That's everything. I mean, yeah. yeah, as you said, it was, it was calm. Well, in my case, it was. What about you? How was your week? Well, let's see, I had a, an event in the morning, something to do in the afternoon, at night, Saturday, I'm talking about Saturday. At night, we went to Suchitoto to have dinner, so I came home around 10 p.m., I guess. And then Sunday, Sunday I stay home. The thing is this, that uh, yesterday I had a, a, had a, a, a midterm, partial. Oh, yeah. I had a midterm, so I had a, actually this was, it's a midterm, but in a different format because it was a, a big job. I mean, I had to, I had to make a, a synthesis. Uh, it was five pages. I had to read a book. Mm, and, my God. And make it into just five pages, man. That was uh, a little bit stressful. And yeah, and actually, you know, something funny is that tonight I got another one. What? After class? Yeah, sure. Mm, oh my God. It's going to be a long time? Not really. I Not mean, really? Nah. I don't <laughs> think so. You know, it, those subjects are they are not that complex they are tedious because you gotta read a lot the one that i am uh, that i hate is statistics yes I hate statistics that subject is not my thing well yeah uh, but i see you like mm, come on you gotta smile you're in class yeah no just i i feel a little time yeah yeah and you look but really i'm good. here ready yeah, to enjoy fun. the class that's, cool. that's the idea let's hope let's hope you enjoy it today is going to be mostly speaking class okay i got different topics for you guys Ileana, okay. welcome. nice having you here thank you teacher Heidi. See, I guess Iris is still around, getting ready. Well, there's Ana Claudia. Hello, Ana Claudia, how are you? Hello, teacher, how are you? I'm just fine, what about you? Uh, here, starting the week, uh, uh, trying to finish my month in good stance, uh, trying to do my best. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We were missing you Friday. Oh, I know, teacher, but I had a terrible headache. Horrible, horrible, horrible headache. Uh, I don't know why. Well, I, I was, I don't know if it was because last week was so hard in all aspects. Uh, um, we been assigned to do more trainings than on a regular week. Uh, this month, it wasn't easy like February because I remember in February, I reached my goal, uh, my 150% at the middle of the month. But this month, I'm, I'm still missing $1,500, but I'm pretty sure that I will accomplish them until um, March the 31st. But this month, I don't know why. Well, well yeah, I know, I know why, but it's, Different is oh. it's, it's a little hard, but we are overcoming all those situations. Uh, well, let's hope everything turns out okay as you want. Yes, yes, of course. I hope that too. But here I am <laughs> starting How a was new the week. Uh, well, I stayed here at home because. Uh, still this weekend, the men who are working at home, they are still, still. Uh -huh, finishing the last 
yes, uh, things. And we were uh, taking advantage that they removed different things. So we, I, what time, como sería? Oh. We took, uh, we, we threw, we took out two big uh, bags, <laughs> like the we one for- We threw away. Huh? We threw away. Ah, uh, we threw away. Two you can big say we bags. Dispose. Mm, yes, it's better to say we dispose two big bags, two garden bags uh, of, uh, it was garbage. Trash. Yes, trash. Trash. you just don't imagine. And we were like smashing everything. <laughs> oh, yes, I do, I do, I do. That happens, I mean, regularly yeah. when cleaning up. That's mm. normal. Exactly. And it's just missing the, the man just uh, repaired two sockets and two other things in a wall, and that will be it. I guess tomorrow it will be the last day. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, finally. Yeah, I got that project, but for for Easter, I got to clean. I got to clean the garage. When you say Easter, is because Easter is the name of the program that I punch. I punch my in and out. Holy week. I'm sorry? Holy week. Oh, really? Is that the meaning? Yeah. yeah. So for <laughs> Easter, I got to do the, I got to clean the garage, organize it again. They always ask me to throw away some of my stuff. Let's <laughs> see, I got a, I got a little project of painting. I got a pinch painting, I'm still. But you are always my... busy teacher. If you are not teaching, you are receiving yeah. classes. At what time are you going to do all those personal errands? <laughs> well, that time is vacation, so. Ah, talking gotta... about vacation, yeah. are we going oh. to have uh, free the whole, the, the next week? Or I guess it's next week, right? No. Uh, mm -hmm. The Easter is starting on, no, I'm sorry, it's missing still one week, right? Yeah. Are we having the whole week or just the Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday? Do you know about it? I guess it's the start on Sunday the 10th. They haven't told me yet. To be ah, okay. With you. Ah, okay. Yeah, because uh, let's see in the, the calendar they have given me every single yes. day appears, but I mean, they gotta let, let us know. They will. Yes, yes, okay. But we will have some, at least some of these we will have off, I'm sure. Uh, yes. Uh, because yes, ones, I was thinking about that. I mean, as long as the ones that Insafor doesn't work, we're gonna get them. Ah, okay, okay. Let's wait and let's yeah, see what they do. I, I haven't checked out their calendar yet. Mm, okay. Yeah, but you will have some day off. Okay, cool. Okay. Uh, let's see. Well, thank you, Anna Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Heidi, hello. How are you? How are you, teacher? Just here, you know, same old, same old. What about you? <laughs> How was the weekend? The weekend was, uh, we had some family time. Oh, that's I'm cool. happy because my, my sister is coming from Las Vegas. We're celebrating oh, really? her 50th birthday. 50th birthday, that's cool. Mm -hmm. That's cool. And are you going to prepare something special for her? Yeah, we're making a party. Oh, we are throwing a party. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Remember, in this case, it's not we are making a party, we are throwing. Throwing? Yeah, like when you throw. Throw, something. okay. Yeah? Throwing. We're throwing a party, yeah. Cool. That's oh, we're nice. throwing that's a nice. party. Yeah, that's cool. You will have fun. A lot of fun. Yeah, you know, the you only know, problem when the is whole this, family what, gets together. <laughs> yeah, but the problem is, I mean, the only problem I see in those situations is that when you are in charge or when you are helping to to, to organize, man, you 
finish the activity pretty exhausted. In this case, I'm not organizing it. Oh, that's cool. So yes, you're just gonna no, go enjoy it. No. <laughs> That's no. cool. When you just go there and enjoy it, that's I'll just fine. go that's and fine. enjoy. <laughs> that's cool. That way, yeah, it's nice. I like parties, let's see. Well, I like dancing, but parties, I mean, family gatherings. Depends which side of the family. Hmm. Yeah, because I mean, there's always one side of the family that you get along better. And that's, I mean, that's normal. With some of them, you are pretty stiff. You are like more serious. And with some others, you are like, cool. <laughs> but really? Well, that happens to me, yeah. I mean, like, uh, like uh, 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 my, my, in the case of my mom's relatives, the ones on my, on my grandpa, more serious. Mm. The ones on my grandma's side, oh man, that's party. Mm -hmm. That's really to throw a party. I mean, they are like into jokes and stuff. I mean, believe me, they they are like that even at funerals. Oh, really? Yeah, man, that thing, those things get crazy. As long as you get us together, it gets fun. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, the thing is this, my, my family, it's huge. Oh, really? Like, huge, yeah. Grandpa had 24, not 25 kids. Oh my God, really? Yep. And you know each other's, and you... Uh... And his brothers were, and his brothers were a little prolific also. Mm -hmm. Not as much as he was, but uh, like 10, 12 kids per. Such so a big was, family. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. it is. And in the side of grandma, man, there's also a lot of people. Mm -hmm. So get us together and that's a lot of people. For real, you know, uh, last year when uh, when well when my one of my nieces passed away uh, at the funeral, I mean, just with it counting also friends, there were like four hundred people, mm. but just relatives was half. About two hundred. Oh, my God. yeah. The only one who really remembers all of them is my mama. I mean, I just get there and who's that one, your uncle? Who's that one, your uncle? Who's that one, your, your cousin? Who's that one, your cousin? Man, so I'm just like smiling and saying hi to everyone. And has it happened to you that you meet someone and at the end is your family? Some relative quite you didn't know before? usually, quite usually. They make really? fun of me here at home, yeah. <laughs> because uh, they tell me wherever we go, you find somebody who's relative or close, pretty close to your relatives. And I'm like, yeah, whatever, what can I do? I mean, I, I get relatives almost all around the country. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. It's funny, but <laughs> as I told you, it's a big, pretty big thing. Mm. I mean, that's, that's just on my mom's side on my dad's side to be honest with you i don't know them all mm -hmm. because i mean they go visit them but i'm like no man it's just too much people for me already i don't remember all of them the other way around happens to me i get along with uh, my dad's relatives with my dad's side of the family my mom's not too much well, no, I get I get along with my dad's side of the family, but just with a few, just like, I mean, cousins, just like 12, 15 of them are the ones that I'm close. The rest, I'm like, oh, man, I don't know. There are too many. 
Mm -hmm. but, but it's like this. It's like my aunt, my dad's sister, she's got like six. Just there with that, we got six cousins. Man, that's a lot. That's a lot of people. Yeah, but it's good to have a big family. I mean, as I tell you, when you got, when you throw a party, man, that things get crazy. <laughs> Hey, Haley, nice talking to you. Welcome. Sure. Jose Wilfredo, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Sounds good. Everything good, teacher. That's great. Okay, tell me, where did you go this week? Ah, this week was a relaxed week because I have that's to. Awesome. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Because uh, on, Saturday, on Saturday, I have to set up artificial rain uh, for the grass of the new home. And oh. then we clean and prepare to buy some furniture and electronic furniture. 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 And apply, uh, appliances? Yeah, appliances. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. Mm. Then on Sunday, we rest with my wife we woke up uh, late and went to eat some chinese food oh that's cool i love chinese mm -hmm. so my stomach doesn't right. agree that much but i love chinese <laughs> hey you know when you reach my age that happens with some food you know you gotta start eating like slowly that's normal <laughs> yeah but was a good uh, weekend that's nice. That's nice. Great. I mean, if you can enjoy staying home, that's cool. Yeah, that's right. So, uh, what's the plan for this week? Uh, maybe work, teacher. This week I have to work. Is everything have set with some... your system, the new system, the new account yes. you're going to be working on? Yes, yes. Um, all condition was sent today to me. Okay. And just I have to, to wait for the task that maybe tomorrow we're going to get a meeting and set up everything. Let's hope everything turns out okay for you. Mm -hmm. So. Thank you. Uh, I cannot say, I cannot um, request more. Can I say that? Complain. You can complain. I, I can complain. You, gotta, you can say it just like that. I can complain. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I mean, in the end, I mean, in the end, if you're cool, you're home, you're with your family and things are coming out okay, I mean, what else do you want? Yeah, that's fine. Uh, just whatever, uh, I whatever have, else you get is extra, and that's cool. No, that's a blessing. Yeah, that, that's right. And also, teacher, I don't know. I was trying to complete the the platform, but I don't know if the platform uh, have a mistake on some exercise, or why don't we check them out at the end of the class? Okay. Okay. Perfect. Excellent. Excellent. Hey guys, let me get the attendance. Thank you very much. So we feel welcome. Thank you for asking, teacher. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Ambar Eli Alfaro Gómez. Present. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present, teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present, teacher. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present, teacher. Henry Neftalí Méndez Torres. Liliana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present. Jacqueline Xiomara Morales de Castro. Present. José Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. José Osmín Rivas Navas. Present. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present, teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present, teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Rebeca Yasmin Monterrosa Figueroa. Present. Roxana Iveda Asensio de Mejía. 
Stephanie Alejandra Salmerón Ibarra. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present, teacher. Donald okay. Frank Figueroa Peñate. Present. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. And Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Okay, let's continue. Well, as I present, told you today, present teacher. Thank you, Nicolas. No problem. Don't worry, don't worry. I got you. As I told you guys today, we are gonna be mostly talking. Just talking. We are gonna review just a little grammar point, but it's something tiny. And it's just a review, so it's not a, like a big deal. So today we are going to take advantage of that aspect and we're gonna talk. Okay. So let's see. I still got time for wings. Yes, yeah, still got. Them. Let's see who else is around. Uh, 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 uh. Hey, Francisco. Hello. How are you? I guess not a big job. Well, let's see. Marcos. Marcos Ayala. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Fine, fine. Uh, the weekend was good for me, I think. I, okay. I read. Yeah. Okay. And tell me, how was it? What did you do? Okay. Something special? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. We visited the beach. All was good, the sun, the waves, and take some bath. And also eat sea food, it was relaxing. But when we came back home, we realized what, what was happening in the territory about the violence. We had noted before, perhaps we, we wouldn't go, but at least we enjoyed it as long as we could. Okay. Perfect. And what about the week? What are your expectatives for this week? Mm, work, work and take the classes and, and, and learn a lot and complete the, the, all the exercise in the platform. Uh, I, Excellent. I, oh, this week, for this week, we need to finish section two and the, 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 the midterm exam. Okay, yeah, yeah, we we'll talk about that uh, the last session. Yeah, uh, at the end of the week, right? Yeah, okay. Friday perfect. midnight is the deadline. Okay, perfect. Got it. Okay, well, thank you, Mr. Welcome. Thank you, Mr. Okay. Let's see. And we got more time. Yes, Billman, Frank. Hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. I'm just fine, just fine. You know, here same old story as usual. What about you? Very good, teacher. I'm fine. A little bit tired because I just finished to do some workout but, oh, and it nice. was <laughs> it was a little bit heavy but, but it's okay that's cool yeah well, you know today i changed i buried my routine instead of, of working out going to the gym i went to eat like hit no to eat Ah, to eat. Ah, sorry, yeah. I, I didn't hear right you. Well. I'm, right now, I'm exercising <laughs> my stomach. Muscle. The mouth. The mouth. Yeah, and my stomach. mouth and my stomach. Yeah, those muscles okay. are working. That's okay. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, but I tomorrow tried. I'm gonna suffer it. Yeah, that's what happened to me because I don't have enough time to do every day, right? So when I have uh, some extra time I try to to do uh, 
like the double, <laughs> but that's not uh, not a good thing always, right? Yeah, yeah, I understand. Yeah, because like because I, nice... I finished I finished very tired. Yeah, tell me about it. Like last Friday, I had to work um, trapezium, shoulders, okay. and bicep. Okay. The three muscles, man, I yeah, was... Yeah my body hurt on Saturday <laughs> and tomorrow I'm so man tomorrow is gonna hurt because tomorrow I'm gonna work abs and legs okay that that's sad that's sad both of them hurt that's hard yeah that's hard mostly abs <laughs> yeah I hate doing abs I mean yeah, me, me. I hate doing abs the problem is that I love eating that's bad yeah 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 uh, a lot of people said that if you want to have some abs, uh, like 70% is in the kitchen and the other 30% is in the gym, right? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's yeah, very hard. Yeah, and you know, my thing is this, I'm, I mean, I'm not, I'm not that, I'm not fat, <laughs> to be honest. I mean, uh, uh, I weight. 159 okay and i am 172 hi so okay it's not that i'm fat but no the thing is that i used to be very very thin okay yes i mean like uh like four years ago i used to weigh 135 wow yeah yeah it was very thin <laughs> you were sorry yeah, I used to be. Just give me a second. Okay, let's see. Yeah, no, well, to be honest with you, when I was like uh, 25, I used to weigh 115. I was pretty yeah. thin. Yeah, you were you were very very thin. Yeah, but you know when you start getting older that happens. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and also uh, when you start exercising, you start gaining weight. Yeah, and or you can you know that phrase you can say it like this, you start getting on weight, getting on, on weight. weight. Okay. Getting on weight. Getting on weight. You start getting yeah, yes. on weight. Okay. Yeah. That happens. And obviously, that happens. obviously, when you when you do work workouts, you eat. Obviously, you eat more, right? Yeah. Well, to be honest with you, I was weighing five. I mean, I lost five pounds. Five pounds. Uh, in the last 10 days. Wow. 10 pounds? Five pounds? No, five pounds in 10 five days. Pounds. Wow. But it's, I mean, it's something, right? I mean. Yeah, it's just that my son was, he had to cut weight for, for a fight. Uh, so okay. he was on a diet. Uh, man, everybody, everyone was on a diet here at home. In which weight uh, did your son fight? Uh, 145. It's like a fly weight? No, no, because I mean, that's uh, that's for boxing. In this case, I don't know. The it's different? Are, yeah, that's kickboxing. I don't ah, know okay. the categories are, are like set. He practice uh, MMA or? No, what? just kickboxing. Ah, okay. For MMA, he should need a base of uh, or wrestling or judo or something like yeah. that. Yeah, taekwondo. To add it and to mix it. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. It's a little bit different, but it's fun for them. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, actually, he and my wife practice it. I mean, they train together. Cool. Very cool. You don't? Yeah. No, no, no. The only thing I do when she gets mad is to go like this. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Hey, Brent, welcome. Nice having you here. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Jose Rivas, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. Doing great. Thanks for asking. Tell me, how was the weekend? So, was common weekend because on Saturday I worked. So as, as normal and also on Sunday. So I just take a rest for all day. Oh, okay. Instead of saying as normal, you gotta say as usual. As, as usual. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Okay, Thanks. so Sunday you took it easy, stay home. Yes. I remember that I wake up around 11 a.m. Say what? Yeah. How do you do that? Well, I used to do that when I was young. Now, uh -uh. yeah, because uh, I usually uh, finish my shift around eleven. So on, yeah, on Saturday. But so I don't know. So so how my mind has uh, this particular case. So that I once about to get my day off. So I basically I fall asleep around 1 or 2 a.m. So that's why next day, so I wake up around 11. I think that is, so. Yeah, you compensate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but yeah. that's weird, you know. Well, I wish I could do it in my yeah. case. I, I go to sleep around every day. I go to sleep around 12, 12, 30, something up to 1. But, you wake uh, up? At what time do you wake? On a regular day, I mean, from Monday to Saturday, around five something. Wow. So yes, five, five hours. Sundays, yes, yeah, Sundays I sleep more, around seven thirty eight tops. Wow. Yeah, you know, that, that happens with all age, you know. Yeah, but, but you get, get used to, right? Get used to. Yeah, no, no, to be honest with you, I mean, I've been always being like that. I have always slept. Uh, so that's, that's why you had to take some uh, cup of coffee? So I run, no. Well, coffee for me is relaxing. Uh, okay. I mean, to be honest with you, I had, a, I took a, a, an espresso double, like, two hours ago and one hour ago I was kind of sleepy. They, it relaxes me a lot. Wow. Uh, how, how can I say so, so sit on the cafe? Like, I'm sorry? Uh, so Facts. the cafe. Mm -hmm. Facts? No, 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 no. Well, oh, an espresso is, is pretty concentrated. Mm -hmm. But, but like the thing is that I usually uh, take so that uh, sobrecito in order to uh, prepare around four cup of coffee. So with that sobrecito, I think that I, I don't need one much. So drink coffee. So with the, the, the sobrecito. Man, on a regular day, I take <laughs> around seven or eight cups of coffee. And in each uh, cup of coffee, so you you use a uh, like. Yeah, it will be the equivalent of one pack. Okay. Or yeah. sometimes two packs, or when I get an espresso, it's like it will be the equivalent of like what five or six packs. Wow. <laughs> or a little shot. <laughs> like of... this. Mm -hmm. It's concentrated. I love it. Yeah. But as I tell you, I mean, it does nothing. I mean, if I'm sleepy, I'm sleepy. I can take a cup of coffee, go to sleep, and I'm happy. So I'll be happy. Yeah, I mean, that's not a problem for me. Hey, Mr. <laughs> Rivas, welcome. Yeah, you're welcome. Ambar. Hello, Ambar. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm a little sick because I mm. got, oh, I have flu. Oh, you're going to say, you can say I got the flu. I got the flu. Ah, okay. 
Oh, really? That's bad. It's uncomfortable. Pretty uncomfortable. I think it's for the change of the weather because I remember the the last week. Uh, yeah. How do you say de repente cambió? Suddenly. Suddenly changed the weather with a lot of vientos, wind. Wind, yeah. A lot of wind. And I don't know, I think it's allergic, but. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, as I tell you, I mean, that thing, that, I mean, what really, really uh, bothers me is that um, the symptoms are so uncomfortable. I mean, when you get a running nose, headache, and yes. in my case, I get the feeling like if I were running a fever, man. Yeah, on Saturday, I have fever. Oh, that's bad. Yes. But <laughs> I hope tomorrow I will be better than today. <laughs> yeah, let's hope so. Let's hope so. We hope you get better. Welcome to the class, Amber. I know it's uh, an effort you're doing. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Let's see. Hi, Nicholas. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. Yeah. Fine, thank you. Yeah, for the moment, today is very good in the office uh, is very relaxed relaxed because um saturday for example i i work at, in tacuba uh, with with different persons uh, with different well my uh, the, the student of the uh, of the university i mm -hmm. I was uh, prepared with with day and different topics about uh, resources, the natural resources in Tacuba. Oh, and cool. and tell me what about the university? How are how's everything at the university? Uh, <laughs> well, um, for the moment, I uh, prepared uh, class classes classes. Okay. Classes uh, the night at in night. the at night and uh, till the practice is practice the practice uh, are in in different different places or institution or or companies um, the reason is for is necessary present uh, realities about a uh, about the uh, about uh, the acerca de manejo de, de, de desechos Okay, related to disposal management. Related to disposal disposal management. Yeah. Okay. Uh, for example, in in the, the uh, is necessary present uh, the management about the the water the water used. Uh, for the industry and how the water is used by the how, industry. How the water is used, this used by the industry. By the industry. And is it this is a one tip or activity? Uh, other activities are in in the in, in, in line, in online, online, thank you. Online, um, regular, re, regular. Okay, so you're busy. Sorry? That means that you are busy all the time. Siempre uh, yes, yes, is necessary prepare. 
today and tomorrow. Yeah, of course, of course. Nicholas, welcome. Thank you, Thanks teacher. For sharing. Let's see where. Stephanie, hello, Stephanie. How are you? Stephanie, Rebecca. Well, guys, hmm. let's see. Welcome all of you. I mean, Maria Alejandra, Rebecca, Stephanie, Fernando. And who else did I talk to? Or oh, Susana, Ada. Uh, due to time factor, I mean, I need to move on to another activity. I'm so sorry I couldn't talk to you, but later we will. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Now we are going to talk about cars, okay? and situations that happens on a car. So I got a first question for you guys to talk about. Now, do you prefer to drive or to be a passenger? What about you, Heidi? Tell me, do you prefer to drive or to be a passenger? Absolutely to drive. Tell me why, please. Well, it maybe depends on who is driving because if my daughter is driving, um, I feel scared. <laughs> You get scared if your daughter is driving. Yeah, I go like, hey, you're too justified to the right, or hey, watch out, or I don't know. I can't yeah. avoid to, to. I understand you. I understand yeah. you. That happens. Thank you, Heidi. That's Let's right. Let's see. What about you, Maria Alejandra? Do you prefer to drive or to be a passenger? Passenger. <laughs> And I prefer to a passenger, a passenger, but in passenger. my case, passenger. But in my case, I don't have an option because uh, only you're the one who's driving. Uh huh. Yes. <laughs> but when uh, don't have when didn't have a car, I like to the all the time. Uh, my. Mi papel, uh, my, I pass a uh, pass all the time. Okay. Like, <laughs> no, that's okay. That's okay. Thank you. Okay. Now let's see. Let's see. What about you, Wilfredo? What do you prefer, to be driving or to be the passenger? Jose Wilfredo, hello. Oh, I'm sorry, teacher, because I just heard it will fail. Oh, today, right okay. now, you're the only one. Ah, okay. I never know it, but it's good to know. Okay. No, I want to be a, a driver. All the time. All the time. Yeah, I I prefer be the driver. Okay. That's nice. That's nice. Yeah. Now tell me why. Well, maybe because I have a lot of experience because I drive since I was 15 or 12 years. I have, you can say in this case, I've been driving. I've, I've been, been uh, I have been I've driving. Been, yeah, I have been driving since. Can I yeah. say, can I use since? Okay. Since I was 15 or 12 years old. You are pretty used to drive. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. Excellent. Thank you. Well, let's see. Let's see. What about you, Ana Claudia? Uh, nowadays, one hundred percent, I do prefer to be passenger. On the past, uh, the same as Wilfredo, I started to, I started driving. Since I was 13 years, yes, uh, but I get tired. Nowadays, I don't like to drive. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, yes, that is why I sold the car we had, and I prefer, believe me, 
to pay for a taxi, Uber, or whatever service I you can get. It's better. You know, what it stressed me so much is to be on those traffic jams, wasting one, two, and even sometimes three hours. No, my time is precious. And, and then uh, once you are out of them there, uh, if you uh, look for a partner. You're in San Salvador, right? Yes, I was. I was living ten years in San Salvador. That is why. Oh, I believe me, my dear, the traffic ten years ago—it's nothing compared to now. Nothing <laughs> compared to nowadays. That is I mean, why the I traffic remember. three years ago—it's nothing compared to nowadays. Mm -hmm. Nowadays is beautiful. I mean, completely beautiful. Oh, come on, Sarco sarcastic. <laughs> Yeah, it is. I mean, uh, when I was, uh, let's see, I used to be driving to San Salvador like every day, like, uh, what, eight years ago. Mm -hmm. It used to take me for, no, one hour, one hour, 15 to get to my job if, if mm -hmm. I used to go out like before rush hour. And I mean like 5 a.m. Uh, now, if I want to, to be in San Salvador from where I live, like downtown San Salvador by the Metro Central area. Uh, if I wanted to be there quarter to six, I need to leave my house like 4.30. Wow, almost. almost the time that I, when I was going out from, from here, from Santa Ana. And I believe- Oh no, you, you, were, you wouldn't make it now, it's in two hours. <laughs> yes, I, I do think. You know, when I started, uh, uh, I don't remember the war weeks, used to travel every day to San Salvador. It is a word. When you go to a place every day. Commute. Exactly, commute, commute is right. Okay. Yes, commute. When I started uh, this commute, and I started in this job, uh, believe me, my shift started at 7 a.m. I was going out from my home at 6 a.m. 6 5 30 a.m and then it was uh, uh then it we were like how can i say reward Re no. uh, retrasando delaying delaying mm, because we've been taking we've been no pero estábamos yendo para atrás 10 minutos o sea no delaying we went going out 10 minutes before, and we started 10 minutes before, one month, and then another. Ah, uh, we start, in that case, you started adding up uh, okay. minutes to your, departure, to your departure time. Okay. We were adding up 10 minutes. I remember it was 10 minutes uh, one year, the next year, another 10 minutes. We were jogging. There will be one day when we will be going out at the four uh, at at four thirty a.m. and the last time I was uh, commute com I say mean, siempre esa palabra commuting commuting, commuting. Uh, I was going out at four twenty a.m. Yeah, my I God, no, I just, no, no. I guess nowadays I, I I don't know if I will be able to do it to make it. Well. No by bus, that's terrible. <laughs> okay, but in that case, I always prefer to be a passenger so I can sleep once the other is driving. Oh, yeah, that's the only thing. <laughs> if you are able to sleep on a car. Of course, I'd get used to. I learned how to on a bus or on a car. Oh, yeah, I'm able to sleep on a bus. Let's see. Oh, it's so, so comfortable. Yeah. comfortable. On a car. On a car is a problem for me because if I, if, I mean, I prefer to drive always, all the mm. time I prefer to drive. I feel so weird when I'm a passenger. Oh, really? And I'm comfortable, <laughs> yeah. For me, it's pretty uncomfortable. And I cannot drive, I mean, I can, I can ride shotgun, okay? Do you understand that expression? No, I was about to ask you. Okay, when you say that somebody is riding shotgun, that means that it's riding next to the driver. Ah, okay, okay. I can I can ride shotgun. I cannot ride on the back. 
I get oh, it's the car best place. Sickness. I get car sickness. My God, it's the best place to sleep. <laughs> no, I get car sickness. I get car sick. Always. Always, always, My always. God. The same happens to me if I ride on a on a coaster. I cannot. Man, I get Oh, sick. no, on a coaster, no. Unless that is like a kind of uh, the same people like drive, like, for example, a private transportation. No, no, no. But in my cases, I get car sick on a coaster. Mm -hmm. I mean, I get like blue and oh, you know, I feel like throwing up. Throw up. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, I get car sick. Oh my god. So uh, I mean, uh, if I am riding on a coaster, well, when I used to, uh, I used to be like little dogs, you know, with my head out of the window <laughs> and my tongue out. Yeah, it was terrible. And that you had a plastic bag with you, I guess. <laughs> okay, that's called a barf bag. Oh, really? Can barf. You it, B, B, A, okay. B, A, R? B, A, R, barf bag. Like this, barf oh, bag. Oh, barf bag. Because yeah, it's, it's used ones, just for that purpose. Yeah, it's the ones they gave you in the airplanes, you know? Um, it's a barf okay. bag. Mm, okay. Good to know. Well, when I was a kid, they used to. <laughs> yeah, because I mean, I used to get car sick all the time. Really? Oh, no, yeah. no, that's not my style. I can sleep very well. And that's, I mean, I don't have the problem in buses and I don't have it uh, if I am driving or if I am riding. Or if you are on a plane, right? Oh, yeah. No, no problem. Ah, okay. As long as I get the window. <laughs> but in the pain, you cannot go like a, a dog with your... <laughs> no, but as long as I get the window. No, the phenomenon is like this. I mean, you got to be... Uh, people who's like me, the phenomenon has to do with the... with the sight and the, 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 the ear. The so ear. if we are watching and we are like we accommodate to the movement, we adapt to the movement mm. according to what we watch, it's okay. But if oh, I don't- really? It's like your brain is like, yeah. like digesting. Yep. Mm. But if I don't, man, that's crazy. Mm. Well, nice talking to you, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Fernando, Fernando, I got a new question for you. Hello, Fernando, how are you? Hi, teacher, good evening. I'm fine. Good evening, how's everything? Cool? Uh, yeah, it's cool. <laughs> yeah, so far, so far on the traffic. Oh, really? You are still on traffic? Oh, no, you're home. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, I'm home right now, but uh, no, by the way, in the but at night, I, I the traffic was. Um, Normal. Normal is two hours or two and a half. But in okay. the morning, in the morning was terrible. I can imagine. Now, yeah. uh, tell me, Fernando, I got a question for you. Do you like cars? Uh, yeah, it's necessary. Okay. Do you like? <laughs> no, but do you like? Oh, no, 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 it's not my, I'm not a fan of cars, but. I like. It. I'm not a car fan. A I'm cars a car fan. fan. Okay. okay car but fan. if you have the opportunity, tell me, which classic car would you like to own? Which classic? Um, I don't know. Maybe a Mercedes. A kind of Mercedes. An old one. Uh, classic. I don't know. Maybe a kind of. F1 on, on uh, I don't know, I don't remember the name, but no, no, I recuerdo el nombre de los casos de Fórmula 1. Um, but uh, I like, I like the, the, the formula, the F1. Okay, cool. But I am not a car fan, but I like the, the, the racer. Like yeah, of course, yeah. of course. Yeah, but it's not my. I not really your thing. I, nah, maybe I I don't have knowledge about that, and it's a topic that I cannot talk 
a lot. Okay. But I like it. That's fine. That's I have fine. I have oh. other interests. <laughs> Thanks, interest. sir. Thank you. No problem. No problem. Eliana, what about you? If you have the chance to own a classic car, which one would you choose? Ah, uh, teacher, that I don't know much about cars. But so. which is one that you like? I mean, there must be a car that you see and you get like, oh my gosh, I like it. Mm. I like Audis. Oh, they are beautiful. Yeah. Sports or sedan? Sports. TT. Audi TT is beautiful. Really? Let yeah. me. You could check it out. Audi TT is nice. It's a beautiful car. Pretty comfortable to be a two seat, <gasps> and it's nice. You saw it? Yeah. Beautiful, no? Yeah. Very beautiful and expensive. <laughs> yeah, well, actually, you know, that's funny. Uh, uh, a 2008, 2005, you get it cheap. Really? Yeah, you do. I mean, shipping is expensive, but uh, uh, you get it cheap, <clears throat> like in, in Europe, pretty cheap. In the States also, but cheaper in Europe. In England, it's pretty cheap. And it's a good one. It's so very beautiful. Those are the ones you like, but classical old ones, not your thing. No. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. Thank you. Welcome. Okay, Ada, what about you, Ada? Do you like cars? Yes, I like. Okay. For example, a Mustang. Oh. Ooh. It's yeah. very, now, very classic. <laughs> now we are talking. It's very classic. It's very expensive. It's rarely the. Que todavía hay. So, yeah, you like Mustangs. Yes. Okay. Uh, any year in specific? Which one do you oh. like? The old ones or the new ones? The old ones, teacher. Is the new oh, is, is very 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 expensive. Yeah, <laughs> maintain, well, yeah, the maintenance is expensive. I know what expensive. you mean. Yeah. You are right. You are right. Oh, thank you. Interesting. Let's see. What about you, Frank? Hello, teacher. Yes, I really like. Which one cars. would you choose? Tell me. Well, about classic ones, maybe uh, Chevrolet Camaro is a good one. Gear. Uh, gear, maybe from the 60s, that that decade oh, okay. of, yeah, are very. When you are talking yeah. about really, really muscle, muscle cars. Yeah, 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 it's very, has, has a lot of strength, right? Yeah, sure. Yeah, the is performance. The, like, the performance the same. is is pretty good, right? Yeah, it's pretty cool. So maybe yeah. I will choose. <laughs> I will choose a, a Camaro. Yeah. I I I. Yeah. I I saw other ones before. But I don't remember the name right now. <laughs> yeah, for me, let's see. For me, for me, actually, you know, Frank will be like the competence because for me, it's Mustang, Shelby, 67 or 69. Beautiful. Okay. Okay. Don't yeah, think it's beautiful. Although, although the, most, the Mustang from the 79 was cool i like the style okay and the weird thing the weird thing about that one is that the, the engine is is a small it's a small okay yeah it's a 2.4 from austin is pretty small which which kind of port is 
the car that appears in Fast and Furious 2. Oh, you are talking about uh, Shelby. That's a Shelby 67. The one who has the, 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 the I don't know. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, that's a, a 69. One. If it's not a 67, it's a 69. Beautiful, beautiful. It's a Shelby. Yeah, Shelby. That's a Shelby. Yeah, that's okay. a Mustang Shelby. Yeah, that's a, a good one, too. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But we gotta stop talking about this. These ladies are looking at me like, man, these guys <laughs> are talking about cars. Yeah, so bored. Yeah, Heidi is like, man, let's move over. Let's pick another topic. <laughs> yeah. It's that I don't like classic cars. You don't like classic? Mm, okay, which classic one do you cars, like? No. New ones. Which? Okay, give me an example of one. <laughs> I like uh, sport BMWs. BMWs. They, those are nice, strong, sturdy. I have one. I used Heavy. to have one. Oh, really? Very nice. mm -hmm. Which year? This one was 2010. Okay. Cool. Sedan Coupe. Sorry? Was it a sedan or a coupe? A sedan. Mm. I love, That's, you know, um, I love. I was trying to look for a picture, Rafi, but I didn't find it. I use, uh, I love the I cabriolets. The I love really? cabriolets. Those are beautiful. No, why I don't like classic cars because I feel like they're going to leave you somewhere. <laughs> nah, because they're cool. I mean, as... <laughs> Yeah, but if you give them a good maintenance, a classical one, the good thing about classicals, you know, is that they got not that many parts. So they are mm -hmm. easy to fix and they are reliable. Uh, new ones, yes, you get better performance. And I mean, they are pretty reliable, but once a sensor, it starts giving you problems, uh, Sometimes it can be a mess. I mean, you got both things. Because, I mean, uh, depending on what you really like, it's actually the type of, of cars you got to choose, right? Mm -hmm. I like yeah, but sports, being... but I also like, uh, how do you say, camionetas? Trucks. Yeah, well, Trucks, SUVs, because I have a big family. SUVs, so... An SUV or a van? That's a whole different story. Oh, SUV. Oh, SUVs, yeah, they are nice. I mean, they are comfortable. Yeah, because I'm, I'm always around with my kids, with my two kids, uh, my older kid, her boyfriend, and a nanny, so I need a lot of space. Yeah, yeah, I understand. That's a problem. I used to have a, well, I, in my whole life, I have had just, just two SUVs and they're cool. But in my case, it's not that necessary because I mean, we have always been just three and I used to have one that was for seven passengers. So I mean, mm -hmm. too much space, I, I didn't need it. And the expense also, mm -hmm. because I mean, most of the time I'm just riding myself. Mm -hmm. So it's not it's not really necessary for me. Oh, thank you, Heidi. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see, let's see. Who are the ones who drive? Hey, hello, Roxana, are you around? Roxana was having a little bit of trouble, I remember. Let's see, who drives here? Uh, 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 um, Jose Wilfredo, tell me. Whenever we are driving, um, I mean, now with the traffic, this thing gets interesting. What do other car drivers do that makes you angry? I don't know, maybe the, maybe the first, the people who ride a motorcycle and they cross in the middle of the 
of the yeah. two lines between two lanes yeah no but in the yeah. case of car drivers car drivers specific car drive, maybe that uh someone heard uh, a lot when we cannot move oh when they are honking yeah yeah pisses me off i mean is the last guy on the line you can tell that you got 20 cars in front of you nobody's moving and they start honking like yeah whatever yeah. you honk everybody's gonna move yeah uh, i hate that like, type of people also yeah that like that gonna have i don't know maybe they think that the car going to get some uh um, i don't know wings how, we, or how we can say yeah wings uh-huh yeah yeah i know i know what you mean yeah it's a stressful actually yeah it, for me that's something yeah. for me something that also Just i that. don't like is when they start putting off on you ah yeah that, that is probably stressful exactly. that. but what can you do thank you mr yeah you're welcome you appreciate okay let's see let's see let's see um, Nicholas, Nicholas drives. I remember. Hello, Nicholas. Around. Oh, guys, I'm so sorry. I need to get the attendance. Give me a second. Uh, Ada Susena Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Ambarelli Alfaro Gómez. Present. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Aire Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Henry Neftalí Méndez Torres. Ileana Giselle Cáñez Escobar. Present. Jacqueline Sumara Morales de Castro. José Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. José Osmín Rivas Navas. Present. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Rebeca Jasmine Montarrosa Figueroa. Present. Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía. Stephanie Alejandra Salmerón Ibarra. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present, teacher. Bilman Frank Figueroa Peñate. Father, I think present. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Okay. Now, ladies, this topic, I know this one, some of you are going to love it. Some of you perhaps not that much, but I know everybody's going to participate. Okay, let's see, let's see. Uh, 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 Rebecca, hello, Rebecca. Hi, teacher. Hello, hello. Tell me, Rebecca, where do you like to shop for clothes? Excuse me, I, I, I don't understand. Where do you like to shop, comprar clothes? Ah, okay. Uh, I don't have a specific place. Oh. I just go and start to work around the the street or the or the different stores. And if I see uh, a blouse or a pants that I like, I just buy. <laughs> okay. Remember, when we talk about pants, we say some pants because in English, pants some is pants. plural, not singular. Okay? okay. Here in Spanish, you say one pant 
right? In Spanish. Mm -hmm. But in English, you say a pair of pants. Okay. And that's a what a piece of, of clothing, okay? Mm -hmm. Well, thank you. What about you, Stephanie? Where do you like to shop for clothes? Well, I usually go uh, to Plaza Mundo and, it's, and I just go to the stores that I see that have uh, cute clothes or the clothes that I like. And I start just to watch it. And if I see something that I like, I okay. buy. That I, don't, opens I don't have any. Oh, okay, no, no, no worries. Go ahead. <laughs> That opens exactly exactly the, 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 the next question. Tell me, Stephanie, do you have a favorite item of clothing? Well, I like um, the, uh, well, I love the jeans and okay. also the jackets. I love the jackets, but I just have one. I, I want jackets to buy- Jackets or blazers? Um, jacket, and like okay. the denim. Yeah. With the denim jacket, yeah, or something that I, I don't know how can I say, kind of a sweater that we say sobre todo in Spanish. Okay, cool. Oh, and Thank you. both of them, yeah. you're welcome. What about you, Eliana? Do you have a favorite item of club? Yeah, blouses, blouses. Okay, you're into blouses. Yeah. I blouses love. is the, the, the one type of clothing that you my, got the most. My blouses are my weakness. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, I love, love, really love, 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 love blouses. <laughs> so if you're passing by and you see blouses, you get like this. Otherwise, you go in and try to buy one. <laughs> yes. It's okay. Que, I think that I can combine blouses with everything. Jeans, skirts, shorts. So... That's the reason why so I love So you gotta have plenty. Yeah, I, uh, and we shared uh, the clothes with my sister, so. Hmm. You have fun. Yeah. <laughs> okay, perfect, thank you. Ambar, what about you? Do you have a favorite item of clothing? Yes, I, I like to shop shoes. Oh, I'm sorry, Ambar. I like to shop for shoes. I like to shop for shoes. Oh, really? Shoes. Okay, what's your favorite type of shoes? What do you like? Slacks, loafers, uh, tennis, high heels? Okay, I tennis. like to shop for tennis. Uh, oh, I that's like expensive. Brands. Yes, I like brands, for example, Converse, Vans, Oh. Um, Adidas, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> that's nice. That's nice. I like them bands also. I like Converse. Actually, yes, I because them. these brands, it have a uh, good quality. Um, it have a lot of kind of tennis. Yeah, they have. They have. Okay, they have. perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, let's see. What about you, Heidi? Tell me. Do you have a favorite item of clothing? Not really. As soon as you tell me we are going shopping. <laughs> Not a problem for you. So you go shopping and I mean, uh, what is your criteria then when you go shopping for clothing? It's that I have to like it. If I like it, I'll buy it. But I have to doesn't like it. doesn't matter if it's a dress, if it's shorts. If you like it, that's it. It's yours. Okay, yeah. cool. Nice. That's nice. Let's see now, guys. What about you? Francisco, tell me. Do you have a favorite item of clothing? Hmm. Guess we're having problems with his connection. Marcos, what about you? You are a young guy. Tell me, Marcos. Do you have a favorite one? What do you like? Yes, yeah, teacher. I have to. I I really like to shop 
uh, begins because um, I use, I use, I wear, I, to, I wear, I wear, okay, I wear a lot when I went out in motorcycle because it is for protection. I don't like okay. to go in, in I, I don't like to drive in motorcycle with shorts. It's okay. Just perfect. Just remember when you are talking about motorcycle, you ride. Right, yeah. Okay. Right. You ride a motorcycle. Okay, no, that's okay. fine. Excellent. 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 Now I got a question a little bit more complex for you guys. Have you ever bought something? quite expensive, but only worn it once or twice? Do you understand the question? Have you ever bought something that it's very, very expensive, but you just worn it once or two times? Has it happened to you? What about you, Jose Wilfredo? Tell me. Um, no, the tree. I never bought uh, something like that, that you only have to use one. What about a suit, for example? Mm, no, because sometimes I have to, to dress. To dress up. The dress up. Yeah, to dress okay. up is when you dress uh, very formal or with mm -hmm. something that is uh, more expensive. Mm -hmm. well, so because you gotta, you gotta I, I guess that regularly. I, yeah, yeah. Not too much, maybe once on a, on a month or two, but I use it. Yeah, and the good thing is that in our case, I mean, a suit, it's always on fashion. Yeah, that's right. And the, the unit, uh this vanish is that you don't have to wave up oh yeah yeah if you cannot <laughs> wait that's a yes. problem yeah, yeah that's I right mean, the only thing that has changed in last years is the 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 ties the type of ties yeah. but yeah that's suit right. is always a suit they have very yeah. a little bit i mean but it's mostly with the style but if you got a well fit so mm -hmm. you're done. Yeah. Okay. That's what right. about you, Iliana? When I asked the question, you were like, yeah, tell me. Mm, yeah, that happened to me just once in my okay. life with a pair of shoes. Uh, well, when I started to use it, uh, to, they, wear them? to wear them, they, I don't know how to say, hurt, hurt me. Yeah. Yeah, they uh, hurt you. I, I didn't know. Say, como el dedo gordito, no sé cómo decirlo. Okay, yeah, yeah, one of your fingers. The, 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 yeah, the... one of my the fingers of my of my feet. So when I just just like that, no, when that's I that's a toe, one toe, a toe, one of my yeah. toes. Thank you. Uh, so when I start to to walk, they like it, I don't know. Okay, were they high heels? Yeah, high heels. Okay, so you never wear them again? No, just once. Okay. Now guys, thank you very much. Thank you, Diana. Now guys, uh, you're gonna be working in groups. I'll give you two questions for you to work, okay? Still talking about uh, still talking about clothing. I got two questions for you to discuss. The first one is: Can you judge someone by the clothes that they wear? And the second one is: What is something that you will never wear? Okay. Those are the two questions you are going to be discussing with your classmates. You will have five minutes for asking and answering, and you're going to report to me about your classmates' answers, okay? 
Remember, you are not going to be talking about yourself. You're going to be talking about your classmates. Groups are open. Please jump in. Five minutes. Um, but... Hello. I sent you to another group. Didn't you get the, the invitation? No. Yo solo toqué el botón y me mandó acá. Sí, pero le mandé otra notificación para otro grupo. No, no me ha caído. Ok, hágame un favor, salgase del grupo y la voy a reenviar a otro. Ok. ¿Sí? So you go, Amber, I just sent you an invitation. And Roxana, I'll send you to another group, okay? Hello? I just sent you an invitation to join a group. Did you get it? Uh, yes, yes. Ahorita la voy bien. Voy. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. Then mm -hmm. I did picture. And now I don't secondary. Mm -hmm. Be because the, the, the most important is the the, 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 the person. The person the, the is the secondary. Yes. And you, Maria Alejandra, what do you think? Oh, she's very judgmental, you know. She goes like, oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, I think that the same with... I think like... Uh, uh, I don't know how to say it, teacher. El maña, like... Uh, when someone so criticizes uh, someone, just for bad habit. Bad habit, yeah. So it's a bad habit. So that basically Salvadorian has. Salvadorian people have. So, and I think that is, I, I really, I, I really agree with this phrase that is don't judge a book by its cover. Yeah, of course, yeah. I understand you. Yeah, if you see me on a regular, I mean, if you see me on a day off, you won't recognize me. I'm wearing shorts, sandals, t-shirt, and that's it. And I mean, I wear it to go to the beach, to go to the mall, to go to the supermarket, to go anywhere. I mean, because you feel comfortable. Thing. You feel comfortable. Just the way that you Actually, I've always been like that. For me, that's, that's it. But... If you get me like uh, on a Saturday afternoon, I 
I usually have meetings or uh, on a, some weeks, some days of the week, uh, I have to wear a suit. I do it, no problem. And uh, some other days you will see me um, jeans, sneakers, t-shirt, a cap. I mean, depending to the occasion, but my, my thing is, is short sandals. That's it, that's it for me. <clears throat> we were discussing teacher that also people have 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 people yeah. have a, a lot of styles. Uh, Jose Wilfredo was saying that maybe that 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 just because someone use or likes wears, uh, wears sorry a black clothes. Oh, he's a rock rocker. Oh yeah. Or something like that, or maybe that, or, or maybe that, just someone use or likes uh, th this style oversized. Uh, maybe she or he is lay a lazy person or something like that. But yeah. there are a lot baggy. of styles. Baggy, 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 baggy. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah, well, you know, when you get my age, I mean, I have had so for so many different fashions. I mean, I used to wear black i used to wear baggy clothing and the only one that is not really my thing is the skinny thing man i don't like tight pants <laughs> that's not my thing i mean i used to wear spandex just for dancing when i was standing dancing or practicing dancing but that's the only way okay and we are in the second question Something that I never wear. I don't know. Mm. Oh, these jeans. These jeans. Uh, I don't know how to say it. Vaqueros. It's, it's a kind of jeans. Is is like uh, I don't know how to say it. Que quedan como justo en la cadera. Ajá, que se puso una moda horrible con esos High jeans or que. Low 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 waisted low waisted i hate oh. that, that those kind. are not your thing no i yeah, never they, never wear it well i well i we tend to notice that they are kind of uncomfortable in some situations right yeah yeah well for me that's a, a, an item that i never that's a no no for you <clears throat> no Okay, what about you, Jose Wilfredo? Is there any type of clothing that you would never wear? Wait, to be honest, teacher? No. Uh, maybe a, a lower uh, gyms or a skinny. I never yeah. gonna use it. Yeah, I mean, that's... Or, um, that's for kids. Ah, uh, yeah, that's right. That's for kids. But... So we, I use a, a formal games. Uh, the... I wear. I wear. I'm sorry. I wear. And then shorts, sandals, uh, t-shirts. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. In my case is uh, flashy colors. Mm -hmm. Maybe not. Sometimes I use, but it's a uniform uh, for yeah. the team. Yeah. yeah, that's a whole different story. Mm -hmm. So, but, but in my that's case, it. flashy colors is uh, 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 it's something I don't like. I mean, I like patterns, I like plain shirts, but not not flashy colors, not my team. <laughs> but you never run uh, on the street. No, man, I mean, you gotta pay me for running. <laughs> I do exercise in the gym, but for running, and that's funny, you know, I used to, I used to enjoy cycling when I was mm -hmm. young, and I used to play basketball, and I used to play volleyball, but nowadays, I am lazy for running, yeah, that's not my thing, no more. 
<laughs> well, it's just that I'm old. I mean, one of my knee hurts. My left mm -hmm. knee, I guess, was Chinese because it it broke up pretty fast. The other one was a good brand. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. You have to buy a new one. Yeah, I, I do need. I mean, it's it's age, man. I've been around. I've been around <laughs> a lot. I mean, I cannot complain. I mean, I I took I all complain. the possible advantages of my body as I could. You know, in my case, I took my body the way. Do you remember those old uh, advertising for for a brand of cars? No lo use, malpratelo. That was me. <laughs> yeah, I put everything in. I I stayed up. I party a lot, and I mean, I gotta pay it. Now you pay the bill. Yeah, of course I do. No, but still, <laughs> still, you know, the old machine is still working. Still got some some miles it's still on. Maybe it was made for a good uh, material. <laughs> yeah, well, some things, but you know, and that's the funny thing. I, I didn't used to go to the doctor uh -huh. that much. Doctors and me are not friends because doctors got a bad habit. They always try mm. to give you shots and I hate shots. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm a cry baby when it comes to shots. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I know what that's meant to you. But that's funny, you know. I hate shots, but I have nothing against tattoos. Hmm. But uh, you already taken the the vaccine. Hmm? Oh yeah, you're sure, already? sure. I took them. No, but that, that's the thing. I mean, and when you get a tattoo, you know, you get many. That metal hits you many times. And, Mm -hmm. And you get like cool, no problem, but they get you with a shot of medicine or something, you get like nervous. It's, it's weird. That's, that's stupid, but you know, human beings, human beings. Yeah. Sometimes we don't make sense. Yeah. Okay, let's go yeah. back to the main room. We are going to talk. Okay. Okay. Okay, 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 let's see. Let's see. Okay, uh, Ana Claudia, tell me, tell me what is something, what's a piece of clothing that I could never see on Ambar or Nicolas? Mm, I was working with Ambar and Stephanie. Okay, well, tell me about uh, Ambar. Legends. <laughs> I will mm. never see Amber wearing legends. That's right. Okay. What about Stephanie? Please uh, say the whole sentence. Stephanie uh, told me. Stephanie told me that she never would. She, she never would never. She will never wear high heels in the style as Lady Gaga. <laughs> oh. That is what she told me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, few people will. Few people would. Those things are like weird and high. Uh -huh. 
Uh -huh. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Okay, welcome. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Maria Alejandra, what about Francisco and Ada? Tell me a piece of clothing that I will never see them. I will never get to see them. I only remember that Ada and Ada, she say that never use a sandal because she will never she will never wear wear a, wear a sandal and um, because uh, her toe uh, los pies her feet uh, her feet is like this of tamalitos <laughs> <laughs> okay okay well, you don't know, you never know, you never know. Yes. I mean, believe me, with a little help, even my feet can be acceptable. So don't worry, don't worry, Ada. Okay, thank you. Now, Ileana, tell me about Jose and Jose. Jose and Jose? Yeah, you were working with Jose Rivas and Jose Wilfredo. Yeah. And Jose Wilfredo, yes. Okay, tell me about them. Jose Wilfredo told, 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 me? Me, told me that he never, he, he would, he would never mm -hmm. use. We're legends. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, I, I can remember the uh, name of the this clothes that we were talking. Uh, that you say. Images. That thing, skinny ends. I, I think that he said that, yeah. right? Yeah. So, Wilfredo, Jose Wilfredo told me he would never use skinny jeans. Where? Yeah, sorry, I have a big problem with that word. Uh, skinny jeans. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Okay. Now, let's see, let's see, let's see. Roxana, you were working with uh, Marcos, Ramon and Frank. Tell me about at least two of them. Well, we couldn't finish that question, but mm -hmm. in general, we were talking about um, cloth and we was um, we telling were. that we were, uh, Telling about the, um, eh, no sé cómo se dice, es como homeboy cloud. Baggy. Baggy, yeah. It's Baggy a fun, yeah. It's a style that in general we couldn't wear because okay. it's your troubles. And maybe like a gothic, gothic style, gotico. Oh, really? Who, 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 who doesn't like gothic? No sé quién lo dijo. Man, I love it. I, I like it. I like gothic, no, but real in gothic. My, in my case, for example, I, I love black clothes, but uh, I never... Uh, Yes, I will never, I never or I have never. I have never uh, wear. Um, well, no, I'm uh, sorry. I have never worn. I have never worked a uh, rock worn, style. Worn. Work. Work. W O R N. Worn. Worn. Perfect. I have never worn a uh, rock style. Because you know they use um, the diamond face, como eh, cara de demonios. Demon. Demon. I'm sorry. Demon face in the diamond is, for example. The precious, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. in, in my case, I'm afraid about that. So afraid, it's a, afraid. I'm afraid. Well, you um, know, uh, there's there's a band that I that I used to love that it's uh, uh, La Cremosa and their shirts were uh, actually a, a, a clown. 
still. I'm not sure, yeah. but it's, it's a different style for me. I love black clothes, but not that black, black clothes. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Roxana. Okay. Now, just a little something. I like black clothing. Clothing. What is the name of the animal that this uh, rock style use? The demon? It's like una cabra, un chivo, no sé. Goat. No. El teacher uh -huh. sabe. Goat. Sí, pues, Goat. Sí, pues, Goat. Oh, come on, guys. No, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. I used to listen a lot of rock. Yeah, that's right. I mean, yeah, I am. Do we know you are the expert, right? <laughs> Yeah, I have I have that face, and it was cool. <laughs> okay, okay. Now let's see. <laughs> Heidi, tell me about your classmates, please. Sure. Um, Susana says she would never use miniskirt. Okay. Bernardo said <laughs> he wouldn't wear pants that pants at the middle of his butts. Okay, yeah, yeah <laughs> of course. And what about you? I said I would never wear men's clothes. You would never wear? Men's clothes. Hmm. Interesting. You will never wear well, actually, you know, there's some certain accessories of men's that, and depending on the situation, will look nice on a lady. Yeah. Like the, the point. Shirts. My point is that I wouldn't wear clothes if I would look like a boy. Oh yes. Yeah, sure. I mean, you know, I wear I pants and that stuff, but not not uh, the way that I would look like a boy. Oh, okay, That's I got you. I got you. Thank you. Now, okay, tell me guys, do you think it's important to stay up to date with current affairs? You know, nowadays uh, we're living, uh, uh, well, these last days in our country, we have a, a very difficult situation. The social stability is like um, unstable, so, there's people like me that I have the problem, but I'm always working and uh, I don't actually have time for checking out like social media. I don't do it. I don't have it. I don't use it. Uh, and I don't watch the news because uh, I mean, I don't watch that much TV. And when I, the time I have to watch TV is not, it's like pretty late at night or just pretty late at night. So in my case, uh, sometimes I'm not aware of the things that are happening unless somebody else tell me. So do you think it's important to stay up to date with current affairs? What do you think, Fernando? What's your opinion? Sorry, teacher. Affairs, I don't understand that word. Situations? Oh, situation. Situation in general, in the world? Yeah. Oh, yes, yes. For, uh, for me, it's, it's important because uh, you you have um and your own vision of the of the success and and uh, no matter it is complicated the war is in uh part is in war and in our country is difficult too because the last uh, weekend was was very very uh, very complicated so you need to inform you need to pay attention or inform me i know informar me oh yeah inform you now pay attention inform you because uh, i don't know you need to be alert and take okay. and take your own measures okay perfect Thank you. Okay. Okay. And 
What about you, Ana Claudia? What do you think? Is it important? Why? Yes, for me, I think it's important because uh, in some situations you can prevent to maybe, um, uh, how can I tell you this? This last weekend, I, I was, I always had to inform my best friend because with, uh, she think that because of her mental uh, health, she she said always that she doesn't like to watch news or read newspaper, but I'm always fighting with her and disagree because I always tell me to her, but it's important not to get the news as something personal. It's important to be informed and you must uh, know how to, it will be drive your stress or, or manage your stress. At least I uh, take one hour of my day to take a look to the news. If I see that a situation, economical situation is like, uh, for example, like with the war or something like that, I know the food will be uh, not cheaper in these coming days. So I'm taking like a banish if I see an offer. And I always like uh, uh, keeping like, ¿cómo va a ser despensa? Like, uh, what? La, uh, I always like to have like, uh, serían como reservas o despensa de comida. Me gusta ir siempre. Uh, yeah, yeah, store, store. Yeah, well, I, I always like to store and at least take advantage of the, the half of the month in case I cannot go out or something happen, at least I have uh, things, food, or uh, the basic things that I use in my home for some stuff. I am covered for 15 days and for others, I am covered for one month, always. Okay, perfect, thank you. Mm -hmm. What about you, Stephanie? What's your opinion? Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Heidi, tell me, do you like watching the news? I like to watch the news a lot. Okay, how regularly do you watch the news? Morning and at night, just oh, after the- Twice a day? Mm -hmm. Okay, so what's your opinion of people like me that I never get to watch the news? But as Ana Claudia said, you have to be informed because you never know. For example, by now, I do the same as Ana Claudia. I try to, when I go to the supermarket. That's because you're I, my friend. <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh, I buy, I'm actually buying cans or cereals or. Canned food, canned food. Canned food, canned food. Mm -hmm. That's that? I'm sorry, Heidi. I will stop you just mm -hmm. a second, remember. The sound here, canned, canned food. Canned food. Yep. You are saying this. Mm -hmm, exactly, canned food. Okay, so you like to be prepared. I like to be prepared and um, it works for me to watch the news because I have topics to talk about with my with my clients. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I understand you totally. Even even I watch football. Oh really? Yeah. Then you are doing better than me. <laughs> Thank you, Heidi. Uh -huh. Ambar, what about you? Okay, let's see, uh, Roxana. Hi. Do you like watching the news? To be honest, just in social media. Okay. 
Do you think because it's important for people to, to be watching news, to be to stay up to date with the news? Yeah, I uh, um, to be honest, I think that it's important because uh, there maybe in the for example on the TV they okay. show a lot of interesting um, topics. And may, in my case, I just uh, check in social media, Noticias Cuatro Vision, or some, uh, okay, noticieros, in, but just in social media. And they uh, just show, share a little uh, topics. But in general, my opinion is that people need to uh, read the newspaper or check the the, the news TV. in general. Yeah, the news in general. Yeah, because you know, uh, maybe you can change some decision about the future, about the travel, or something like Your that. Your daily routine can be affected. Yeah. Yeah. Or modify. Time. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Ileana, tell me, I got a question for you, Ileana. Hi, I'm here. Hi, tell me, Ileana, how do you get your news? How do I get my news? Yep. Mm. You understand the question? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yes, como tengo, como yo me entero de la Yeah, I mean. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Do you okay. read the newspaper? Uh, Do you watch the news? Do you listen for them on the radio? Uh, social media. Okay. Yeah, and radio sometimes when I I'm uh, driving to my work. In that, that. Uh, that's it. Yeah, that's all the news I <laughs> I heard. Mostly or read the traffic the report. Yeah. Yeah, okay, perfect, thank you. Ramon, what about you? Hello, teacher. I think- oh, How uh, do you get your news? Well, um, in social media. Social media, okay. I, I, That's the I, one that you, that you watch the most. Yeah, yeah, because in my work, uh, how do you say, horario, uh, schedule, schedule. Uh, of my work, of my work, um, I can, um, me permito? Allows me? Uh, my job allows me? Allow, uh, don't allow me, <laughs> I have to... Uh, um, to see, to saw, I don't know, to see yeah. uh, other, other kind of news. Oh, my job doesn't allow me in this case. Okay, doesn't allow me. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Now, Fernando, tell me, what do you think? Do you think there will still be newspapers like in what, five or 10 years? Uh, uh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> maybe not, uh, because nobody the newspaper is um deprecated. I don't know. <laughs> and, Sorry. And uh, in the Suso. Okay, it's outdated. Uh, outdated. Yeah. The newspaper is outdated because uh, all the people had the news in your cell phone. The most of the people. And the newspaper used to, I don't know, for cleaning, for homework. But okay, because, for cleaning. <laughs> yeah, because the 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 news in, in the in the social media are in, in are in the instance or are I don't miss your access. Yeah, and in the newspaper you have the news until the next day. Okay. Interesting. Oh. Thank you. 
now let's see let's see let's see let's see guys okay now we're gonna change a little bit uh, let's see Susana, tell me, how often do you eat out? Susana. Let's see. Susana or Rosana? Susana, Susana. Okay. okay. Hello, teacher. Hello, Excuse Susana, me. tell me. How many times a week do you eat out? How often do you do? Uh, uh, and under, understand, teacher? How often do you eat out? Que tan a menudo come fuera? Ah. Uh, Go to a restaurant. I always... Um, um, in weekend and fin de semana, teacher? Oh, on weekends. On weekends. Okay. On the weekends, you eat out. Hmm. Interesting. What about you? Thank you, Susana. What about you, Heidi? Tell me. I remember that you love to fight with your kids about junk food. We usually, um, we go out once a week, at least at least once a week. Okay, and what do you usually eat when you go out? Hamburgers or Chinese food. Okay, so you have to bend your arm. Most of the time. <laughs> yeah, even though you don't like it, but eh, kids are but like that. But they do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, kids are like that. What about you, Eliana? How often do you eat out? Mm, almost every Friday almost with my Friday. yeah with mm. my friends of uh, I don't know no no they are not my co-workers they are friends of my work but no my okay. co-workers just friends uh, we have a, I don't know the tradition I yeah. think every Friday we go out and it's fun Pizza, hamburger, Chinese food. Oh, yeah, that's cool. You just yeah. mentioned everything that I love. <laughs> <That's> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Haiti will be like this, strangling me. <laughs> okay, thank you. What about you, Marcos? How often do you eat out? Um, twice per week. Twice a week. Okay, what no, what do you usually twice, eat when twice uh two weeks? Oh okay. No, no, no. Uh, twice twice a month. Twice a month. Okay. Yeah. And what do you usually eat when you go out? Mm, for example, when it's um day of payroll or week, oh, yeah. uh, I usually go to buy some Chinese food with my mom to for okay. in order to escape the, the, the no. Okay. Uh, Chinese yeah. food. Chinese I food, like it. pizza or tacos too or uh, okay. hamburgers. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Young food is so delicious. Yeah. So bad yeah. for your body, but it's delicious. Yeah, yeah, it's true. I mean, most of us enjoy the taste, but even though it's not that good. Thank yeah, you, Marcus. Yeah. What about you, Frank? Well, Frank, almost every day, he's in, always out of his house. Yes, yes, of course. Mm, but uh, I usually go to eat out of my house once in a week. Maybe. I mean, 
to to a restaurant, right? Yeah, sure. And what do you usually have? I mean, what's your favorite dish? Mm, I really like seafood. Ooh, seafood. Mostly, That's nice. Yeah, mostly in those days. Uh, I mean, with the and What's your weather. favorite dish? I really like a lot, all kind of, <laughs> of seafood, but I, I like uh, conches, shells. Shells, yeah. Oh. Yeah, I really like yeah, shells. They are so, they are so bad, but so good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they are so good. So I usually eat shells when I went to uh, that kind of restaurant. When, when I go, go. So, yeah, when I go. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Now, guys, uh, I need you to please do something for tomorrow. I need you to tell me, to text me, okay? Or take a picture, or write on a piece of paper and take a picture. I need you to tell me what's your favorite dish and why. Okay, we, this is uh, with, the, with the ones who have been with me before, we have already done this exercise, but speaking now, I want you to write it, okay? At least five sentences. I will be checking your, uh, your mostly I will be focusing on stylistics, okay? And punctuation. So remember, you gotta tell me which is your favorite dish and why? You gotta explain to me. Okay, guys, let me get the attendance because time flew today. That's cool. It's nice when we have, when we are able to talk. And by the way, tomorrow we still got uh, a little bit more of time of speaking. At least half the class is gonna be speaking. But let me get the attendance. Ada Susana Casares Mendoza. Present teacher. Ambarelli Alfaro Gomez. Present. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Heri Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Henry Neftalí Méndez Torres. Ileana Giselle Caniz Escobar. Present. Jacqueline Xiomara Morales de Castro. José Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. Present. Present teachers. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Thank you. Present, María Alejandra present. Barrientos Romero. Uh, Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Rebeca Yasmin Monterrosa Figueroa. Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Delman Frank Figueroa Peñate. Present. Ramón Enrique Present. Mata Escobar. Thank you, Susana. Present, teacher. Thank you, Ramón. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present, teacher. Okay, guys. Thank you very much. Really appreciate your presence here. See you tomorrow. And tomorrow we are gonna do uh, something different. I got a surprise for you. So be ready. Thank you guys. Nice having you here. Thank you teacher. Good night. Good night everybody. Bye. Good night. Teacher, we're going to, yeah. to check the platform. Yeah, sure. Just give me a second. Uh, thank you, please. I'm sorry. And can I stay to see you? Oh, yeah, yes, sure. Yes. Okay. Then I'll stay to teacher. Okay, no problem. No problem at all. Okay, let's see. Which is the one that is giving you problems, mister? 
Uh, I cover the part, the second part, section two. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Which is the number of the exercise? Section two uh, is two uh, point fourteen. Two point fourteen. Let me check it out. Just give me a second. Let's loading. Two fourteen. Two fourteen. Okay, match the meaning with the corresponding terms to identify mm -hmm. theft. It is an extra layer of security regarding not only Okay, which is the one? Oh, the second part you said. Yes. Okay, you got one that says he works in a bank, she said. Mm -hmm. She said that he worked in a bank. She said that she that he worked. Uh-huh. Worked bank. with the yeah okay the second one is we went out last night she told me so she told me that we have gone out last night okay let's see uh she told me they she told me they she told me they yeah, no, we. She told me they went out last night. Or she told me that they went out last night. Mm -hmm. I would rather. I we have to you, continue with the with the pass. Yeah, but I would rather I advise you to use this one. She told me that they went out last night. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. The third one is I didn't go to the party. She told me. Then she told me that I. That hadn't, she. That she. Remember that. Yeah. Remember that she's the one who's telling you. She told you I didn't go to the party. So she told me that she didn't go to the party or she told me she hadn't gone to the party. I mean, you got many options here. Didn't gone. No, hadn't gone. Okay. Hadn't gone. The, okay. Yeah, the different options uh -huh. you can have for this one are like all this. Mm -hmm. You see? In the, mm -hmm. then you have Lucy will come later, she said, right? Remember yeah. that when you have will, you turn will into will. Uh -huh. She said, Lucy will come later or she said that Lucy will come later. Mm -hmm. She said that Lucy will come later, right? Yep. But when I mark, uh, just to, to verify, the a mistake is already up here. The yeah, last one copy is, paste I, I won't see. One. I won't see you tomorrow. She said she wouldn't mm -hmm. see me tomorrow or she said that she wouldn't see me tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Those are the options you have. She said that would, wouldn't, mm -hmm. right? She said she wouldn't. She said she wouldn't. Or she said that she wouldn't see me tomorrow. Mm -hmm. With the ones that got an apostrophe, copy paste. I advise you to do that. Sometimes the apostrophe gives us trouble. Teacher, uh, like mm -hmm. second one. Sorry. Yeah, well, sure, continue, continue. 
Okay, okay. Teacher, in the second one of the section, that's section 2.14, I still got a problem with. Uh, she told me that they went out last night. Still marked wrong. Okay, let's see. She told me that they went out last night. Try copying it, uh, pasting it like as it is. Because what I'm giving you right now, what I just gave you here is the ones that the system gives me. The ones that are in the platform, registering the platform as correct. I mean, the ones that I have given you right now, I mean, that's what I did, just copy and paste here. So perhaps sometimes what happens is that the, the keyboard gives problem. Uh -huh. What about now, Jose Wilfredo? Did it work okay for you? Mm, yes, it's true. So what, what seems to be the problem, Jose Wilfredo? Perhaps the apostrophe. Yeah, I guess the true because uh, I rewrite. Can I say that? Yeah. Yeah. But uh, just with one, uh, the number three, I apply sheet uh, or I uh, fill with. She told me that she hadn't gone to the party. Okay but mark as a, a mistake, but I will use another right now. Yeah. Hmm. Heidi, which one of section two gives you problem? This exercise? 2.5, exercise nine. Oh, 2.5. Yeah, because I see that you were missing just a few points. Yes, 2.5, please. Ah, what I'm not sure is if 2.5 is the one that I reported that there is a problem. Well, part, part one was the, had a problem, teacher. Yeah, but the last one that... Um... Uh -huh. Second part, please. Mm -hmm. 2.5, let's see. Which one you said? Uh, the last convert Rick. WH questions okay. to... Uh, convert the direct WH questions to indirect speech statements, reported the speech. Right? Yes. My new neighbor asked me. Yes. yes. My new neighbor asked me. Give me a second. Let's he see. asked me how many children did I have? Okay. My new neighbor asked me how many children. If I, I live with my family. Oh. Another one. Okay, in the first one, uh, Heidi, something that mm -hmm. you must be aware of is this. My new neighbor asked me how many children I have. And the mistake that there's in the platform is that they didn't put the, 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 the period at the end. So in this case, specifically is with no period because uh, the person who typed it forgot it. How many children I had? Yep. Mm -hmm. But the second one, teacher, uh, where do you work? And my new neighbor asked me where I work. Where I worked. Uh -huh. My new neighbor. Too. Yep. But the platform marked like mistake. Okay, look, mister, this is the one from the platform. The second one has period then. Uh, uh, maybe for that reason. Let me check. Yeah, that was the reason. The third one is my new, my new mm. neighbor asked me when I moved to the city. I'm sorry, the one? The third one? My new neighbor, my new asked, neighbor asked, asked me. No, 
when my new neighbor asked when I had moved to this city. Oh, there's a problem here. The little point, the little period they forgot in the in the previous one, they made it double here. Oh, what I say? <laughs> That's a problem for you. They would never find out. Uh, double, double, <laughs> double period. With the double yeah, period. Double period. Okay, that, that That's why the reason. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the last one would be like my new neighbor asked when mm -hmm. I will receive my furniture. Okay. Uh, I, I was wrong with the use of he. Because I was oh. using he instead of my new neighbor. <laughs> oh, that's why. But can be, right? Yeah, it could be. It could be. Okay. The, the could be, I mean, on, on regular, on colloquial speaking, yeah, you just go straight to he. In this case, remember that we are working grammar, so they are asking you to write a, like a complete sentence. Okay, okay. And the first part had had uh, error. Yeah, and I'm still waiting. Let's see. Reliable seller, a seller you can trust with your purchase and who is consistently good delivering quality products, fake review. Yeah, mm -hmm. they haven't fixed it out yet. Oh, thank you. Well, thank you. Dutch. No, thanks to you guys. Always a pleasure. Okay, good night. Have a good Thank one. you, teacher. Good night. Thank you for your time, teacher. Sure. No time. problem. No good problem. Evening. I'm here to help. Bye, guys. Thank you, good evening to everyone.